Belgium, deprived of a government for the past six months, is moving ever closer to a full-blown crisis. The rift between the Flemish and French political classes, a common backdrop to life in the country, is becoming crystallised in the actual media. Are the state broadcasters, the Flemish VRT and French-speaking RTBF, drifting towards a media war? On the 13th of December 2006, RTBF's Philippe Dutiel broadcast a hoax programme called Bye Bye Belgium, which announced Flemish independence. I don't want to see this country disintegrate, it's something I regret. There are no longer any joint projects in Belgium, that's the reality. The democracy is healthy, and those that criticise us are those who refuse democratic debate. Hut Latste News is a Dutch language newspaper. It's the most widely read in Flanders, selling some 1,100,000 per day. Its chief editor is Luc van der Keelen, and he rejects the idea that his paper is pushing for Flemish succession. It began with the RTBF. Their journalism became, shall we say, more militant, more partisan. The Bye Bye Belgium program, that started it. The Bye Bye Belgium program, looked at in the context of December 2007, sheds its playfulness and becomes chillingly prophetic. And when Yves Le Terme, the Flemish politician who won the ill-fated election, compares the French-speaking media to the Rwandan radio station R. TLM, which broadcast attacks against the Tutsis during the 1994 genocide, things are getting serious. However, media analyst François Heinderichs has cause for optimism. He says, one sees a number of interesting and constructive initiatives on the part of the media in terms of dialogue between the two communities. The media in the North and the South are trying to build an understanding as opposed to stoking tensions. What concerns those that want Belgium to remain an entity is that polarisation is a natural consequence of the prolonged bickering, and the longer it continues, the more pronounced it will become.